All right, time to see about getting down that boat. On a special mission for Mr. Prince. Not particularly loyal to anyone at the moment. Which I think is kind of inherent to the idea. Just kind of doing tasks that are set before me. I don't have a strong reason to side with anyone yet. Everyone's kind of a fuck boy. So they said there'd be a boat. Whether dreaded, mistrusted, feared, or reviled, the insular vampires of Clan Shamir are anything but ignored. Hi. Been a bit, you guys. Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Didn't know I'd see you again. You look like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. I might need some equipment for this little trip. Maybe not. <laughs> he sells a Glock. Yeah. Oh no, two music services are playing at the same time. Theirs and, and his, or the, me, or the background tonight? one, I mean. I need some info. Concerning? People. Who exactly? Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I'd say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Alright. Who exactly? LaCroix. Only seen him seen him a few times. The way I understand it, the guy's untouchable. And I've never seen him without his muscle, that sheriff. Just so you understand. My loyalties are all but written in blood, so my opinion of the guy is moot. There's a bunch of different versions, too. Did we already do these? I can't remember. Who exactly? The Sabat. Your typical bloodthirsty movie villain variety vampire. A few years back, I was on bodyguard duty for one of the old boys. Me, a couple of ghouls, and some young vampire types like you. The Sabat hit us, tried to pull a dine and dash. Just two of us walked away, and one was the Elder. Who exactly? Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Let's ask about places. Specifically? Santa Monica. Santa Monica's quiet, mostly. That is, till you came to town. Not a lot of operators of police here, which is why I like it. Not a beach person, personally, but there are some beautiful sunsets. I guess you wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? Specifically? In downtown L.A. Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines is people, LaCroix's people, a lot of tension in the air. A lot of drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. Concerning weapons, specifically a sniper rifle. Not easy, even in this country. Military-grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo could take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Specifically, a combat shotgun. 
What you want is a Spaz 15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. Few nights work. Specifically? A flamethrower. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of requests for those. I blend the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. Specifically? A tactical nuke? Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Nope, that's it for now. That's all he's got. I was curious. I was poking about. There's the boat, I guess. And there's where my sh my tr mission is. It's actually the boat we saw at the beginning of the game, huh? Mayhem, bro. Any updates from you? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Hmm. I'm kind of curious if the body is still there, if like some time has passed in game. In these kinds of days, in these kinds of games, the passage of time can be very difficult to grasp. Same thing with the vampire game, vampire, or whatever. Like you play a gay guy that's only there at nighttime. Oh, it's open. Is anybody down? Is anybody in here? Popular arcade you got here. No one's even running this place or like even keeping an eye on it and the door is open. I feel like that's how you get your game stolen. We have peer access. But is anything on the peer? One of those boats out there is likely the one of my missions taking place on. Okay. So I've got access to here now that they've cleaned up the body. But there's nothing to do here. Well, alrighty then. Not even one location opens up. They probably figured you'd miss it, right? Like, you wouldn't find it even if they'd put something there. Because ex because the place was closed. So it's just a nice little detail that the crime scene does get cleaned up. Why was the crime scene hidden behind a chain link fence, though? Did they put up a whole chain link fence? On the spot, instead of, like, caution tape? That seems like a great length to preserve to go to to preserve the uh crime scene all right let's review the prince wants you to investigate the elizabeth dane you need to go to the beach in santa monica where the boat will be waiting for you to take you to the ship you are to examine the Ankaran sarcophagus, find out what the police have discovered and take the cargo manifest for the ship and above all try to go on a killing spree Sounds to me like it's time to quick save. So first question, can I pass as a dude that is able to be here? Let's just find this out up front. Hey, buddy. Yo, Pally, over here. He didn't attack me. Okay. Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's gonna send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. What my editor tells me is between him and me. Jeez, what kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Well, that didn't affect him. Let's just do this before one of us has to take a swim. Take it easy, Flash. This is still a badge you're talking to. Alright, well that wasn't helpful at all. 
You're a cop when it's convenient, huh? Fine. You can paddle your ass back to shore for all I care. You'll be lucky if Jacobson has you writing obits after this. Whatever. Well, that didn't work even a little bit. All right. You waiting for your chauffeur to pull around the dinghy? Can I just jump out? Nope. All right. How about you? Wow. Okay. We're up. There goes the killing spree part, huh? Excuse me. All right. So this is definitely not the intended way to proceed here. <laughs> Big whoops. So that's the first time I've seen my intimidation option fail. Yo, Pally, All right, over so here. can you give me clothes? Oh, sakes. Uh, Jacobson didn't tell me much. Jeez, what kind of wood stain? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? How dare you? I'm a great Woodstein. Hey, you're not from Jacobson. Okay. Okay. Shh. I'm invisible. You can't see me. Ooh. I am so invisible, you'll never spot me. Woo! Ow! Stop it. Leave me alone. Ah, I'm stuck. Alright. Successfully infiltrated. Uh... Yeah, that's a problem. Wait, does this not open? That one opens. Alright, I have so far successfully not gone on a killing spree. So, so f what's What's wrong with these doors? Stop it. It's like trying to close my face without me pressing anything. Did he forget about me? When I ran past him? Difficulty of six. I can do that. Ain't nobody in here. All right. What can I do about this? There's a note. Ship manifest. On Karin site transport to Los Angeles. On Karin sarcophagus. Three crates, pottery tables, one box unidentified. One box is unidentified. Three crates, pottery tables. Okay. But aware. Uh, I have six experience if I want to use it. Okay. Please lockpick without buff. Yay. Whoa. Ah. Uh, seems dangerous to me. That's not a real door? Okay. I can climb this, right? Yeah. This guy's totally gonna spot me. All right. Oh no. Shh. Be very quiet. Ow, ow, ow. Ouchie. Ow, 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 
Things are going very well. Was there like a keyword I was supposed to tell that guy so that he would think I was one of them? Or is he just a complete by bystander that has nothing to do with me being here? I'm not sure. Yo, pal- Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. Jacobson. Who are you calling a hack? Jeez. What? Uh... I don't need to take this from you. Fine. You can paddle- Whatever. Okay, so completely unhelpful. Let's see, Intimidate is a four. It's affected by intelligence and intimidation. And I don't have the points to buff it with, so I can't do anything about that. Hmm. I'm a bit curious. What if I avoid him at first? Go into stealth mode. Go downstairs. Get that ship manifest to get one more experience point. Then with my one more experience point, I sneak up on him. And uh, I mean, I intimidate him and then maybe he gives me a costume. Maybe I can get him to help me in the right situation. God damn it. Go. Gah. The doors are glitchy and weird. Okay, so you open on the first try. No one was down here. So this is the ship manifest. Oh! Oh, it's not where I thought it was. Was it you? You're not a real door. It must have been this way. Oh, I haven't been up there yet then. Because it was here, right? And this requires me to use blood buff. And then I get the ship manifest, which if I look at it, gives me an experience. There's something. Let's quick save. A separate one, just so I don't have to repeat all that if this doesn't work. Okay, so C, Intimidate. Now my Intimidate's higher. My hope would be that Intimidate will now... See, so Wits', is, wits is hacking comment effect, yeah. This is Wits, Stamina, but Strength. Yeah, none of my stuff affects my Intimidate, right? No. But now my Intimidate's one point higher, which might be the one point I needed to succeed. So I'm going to see if being like, let's just do this, uh, might lead to actually succeeding. Because otherwise, uh, I don't have my in right now. Oh, yeah, buddy. Christ's sakes. Alright. Well, my editor tells me is between him and me. Jeez. Let's just do this before one of us has to take a swim. Take it easy, Flash. This is still a badge you're talking to. Let's get down to business, Barney. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn Flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guard guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple minutes, but don't dilly-dally in and out, okay? So go down the stairs behind me. And then gangway. I don't really know where that is. We'll see. 
Understood. Air Don't quotes. forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yep, got it all. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. He's gonna be mad when he finds out I don't know who the fuck Jacobson is at all. Go down the stairs behind me. Gangway B. Ah. Gangway A. Anderson. Hines to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. I'm waiting for this guy to leave. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? There it goes. So this is going to be a shortcut. Somewhere. This guy's out of the way. He's distracted. Now I can check out this path. Alternatively, I probably could have just used my ravens on him and that would distract him for a moment. And save me a lot of time, honestly. Okay, that guy's guarding that side. Wait, did this just get me access to the uh, fucking same room I was already in? What a waste of time. This is the, okay, this room had a guard in it before, now it doesn't, uh, reports, log, lighthouse, am I at the wrong computer already? Log, lighthouse. Control. Lighthouse. Okay, they have different passwords. Deck cams on. Unlock doors. All bulkheads open. Start engines? I don't really know what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. Let's see. Control routed to helm. Sound horn. Yay, I made a honky ho. Reports. L log. Hmm. I think that's all I can do right here. Okay. Can't change that. Ah, it's over there. Cam three on the four deck. Okay, so it's over there. You successfully completed your tasks aboard the Elizabeth Dane. Report back to the prince. Really? Just look at it. It's that quick, huh? Hmm. I'm a little suspicious. I don't know, I feel like I needed to do more than that, but I'll trust it for now. That was so brief. But I guess him giving the password makes it a lot easier, yeah. You know what, let's not go that way. He said he'll give me a few minutes. Well, this area was or this this path was clear the whole time because I already hacked in. Now, mother, God, these doors work. <laughs> they close on you and then you get stuck in them, which is iffy. Okay, is that guy back? He's back. So I was right to go the other way. So it was worth it was worth working with that guy because he ultimately gave me the password which I would have otherwise had to hack which it's hard to say if I would have had the skill required or not ah <laughs> hello fall da falling damage ah uh, yeah I'm the pro badass dude with four more experience points again way to go why can't I move there we go got it 
The prince is going to be so proud of me. At the moment, I'm pretty much not loyal to much of anyone. So... We'll see how long this prince situation lasts. One thing is I need to see why people hate the prince. Because so far we're just dropping hints, but I lack the context. He hasn't done much. Obviously there was a time where he was going to execute me. That's the starting situation. But they spend the first chapter reinforcing why the prince would do that to some extent. Because you see all those guys on the beach I was just at are these like abandoned vampires. And you get a sense of what happens when people are allowed to just make vampires willy-nilly without any regulation or control. But then of course things get weirder because of the fact that like the prince just took over this whole area. So like it had its own rules before then. So he's a conquering character, which makes him shitty. But at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean the Camarilla has to be bad, even if the Prince is, which I don't know if he is yet. That might get a point where I don't like the Prince, but still might want to keep the Camarilla, for example. And that would lead to more questions of like, can you, can you change things from inside the organization? instead of restructuring the entire thing from scratch would be one of the questions at that point because the Anarchs want to overthrow or defeat or get rid of the Camarilla but the Camarilla, Camarilla might actually be a good force for the vampires in general and it might just be that their leadership is garbage at which point you'd kind of want to, would want to replace the leadership as opposed to getting rid of the entire organization meanwhile these guys just seem ineffectual and disorganized and this is just a dead end and so on. And it and it and it talks shit about the Camarilla, partly because the Camarilla moved in recently. But they ultimately want similar things as far as the game is presented so far, due to the fact that they both want to maintain the masquerade. Just one has a different sense of personal freedom to some extent. But not so much so that they won't uh, ask you to put a hit on somebody because they don't behave correctly according to the masquerade. Which is where the lines get really blurry, because the entire premise of the Camarilla, and as far as what has been presented by the game, once again, I only can go by the game, which has had a limited uh, limited exposure to either faction in any real detail. Ah. I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Ugh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? No, it's stalking people's great. That's hard to do these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Oh, here it becomes the thing where I start having my own ghoul. Which is apparently not a thing that people get mad about. Because it's not quite siring. This is, um, this is weird and uncomfortable, but vampire, woo, brawls. Of course, Heather, I'd love for you to stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be important to you. Oh, this is... huh.
Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Do that. And clean the place up a little, would you? Later, Heather. <laughs> uh, add that to the pile, huh? Hey, knife. Uh, surprise knife. Hello, Heather. Alright, we have a vampire thrall. And that's a whole weird thing, but honestly, the ripping blood out of people every every episode is also a pretty weird thing, so I'm just gonna go with this part of the vampire experience for a bit. But it is deeply creepy to basically turn somebody into an addict that's obsessed with you. So much so that she already knows where I live. Okay, this is this needs to go. Uh uh Okay, there's a hitbox on top of the garbage. Don't worry, I definitely remember where he was. There we are. The Empire Arms Hotels. Alright, Prince. But to finish the line, to line up reasoning before I continue, is there's just the idea that the, uh... Oh, this is the wrong building anyway. Boy, have I gotten turned around. Ah... Where was the prince? I'll find it next episode. We'll start the episode there, and I'll figure out where it was. Uh, my issue with the Anarchs a bit is just the fact that they're, that guy's willing to get, put a hit on somebody for not obeying their laws correctly. And it's like, oh, interesting. So you're all, you guys are anarchists, and you don't have laws, and you got no hierarchy, you're all equal. But that person's disposable and can be destroyed for not obeying your rules. Interesting. Let's follow this to its conclusion. So suddenly you have a certain thing, the masquerade, which needs to be upheld at all costs. You agree with the Camarilla on that. So it's almost like you might need some kind of, you know, leadership and some kind of rules to uphold said masquerade. What are the boundaries here? What, peop what can people do and what can people not do? And once you have that system in place, suddenly you have this entire government about upholding the masquerade. And it's like, then that's that's just how the, something like the Camarilla comes into being. So if they were allowed to come into power, they may not be exactly the same as the Camarilla. But if you follow the logical, uh, if you follow that logic to its conclusion of just upholding the masquerade at all, you do ultimately come up with a, a form of government that is willing to put people to death for not obeying its rules that will eventually resemble some version of what the Camarilla is now. There could be some structural differences and some paperwork differences, but like, the way that they act like they're so utterly different is, is somewhat disingenuous if they're going to also make that move. Like that one quest for me really contextualizes the entire thing. We made it!